Right, the Kenyan economy has reached a deal with uh, France Telecom over privatization of Telcom Kenya, saving a shaky partnership that has been teetering on the brink of collapse for almost three months now. Joining us now on the significance of this development is the Telcom Kenya CEO, Mikhail Gosain. Thank you very much for joining us from Nairobi. Okay, it's been a bit of an impasse between France Telecom and Telcom Kenya in recent months, very well documented in the press. You've patched things up. How are you taking your relationship forward? I think, like I say always, uh, the two shareholders will play the Telcom Kenya interest. Today I am very happy uh, to have this, uh, let's say, nice ending between uh, France Telecom and the uh, government of say, Kenya. And like you see in the press, they are looking to make, uh, front, uh, make Telcom Kenya one of the best operators of the market. Today with the support, with the France Telecom know-how and the government, let's say, uh, know-how in the market here, Telcom Kenya in the future become one of the best in class telecom operator even in Nairobi, in Kenya and in the region. Uh, and this deal will help Telecom Kenya to move forward. And now I think everything settled between the two main shareholders. And that means we will now have time to work and to move forward and to make our company a success story. Right. Now, as you patch things up with France Telecom and try to uh, build on your relationship, you are facing a fairly challenging telecoms operating environment in that there is rivalry from the dominant player Safaricom. There's also Zane Kenya now with the added muscle of Barty behind them. Oh. And then there's also SR's U uh, network. Um, what is your strategy going forward and how are you going to deal with some of these issues of market domination by Safaricom? Yeah. This is the main, uh, the main challenge today for us, meaning like operators, especially when uh, is to make Safaricom uh, a normal competition way. Because today, definitively, Safaricom is the dominant operator with 80% uh, market share in, uh, let's say, number of subscribers and even in revenues. That's me now, the, it is time to regulate the market, like to become an international regulation Why? Last time, meaning the PS announced they will need a, uh, three weeks, four weeks to reanalyze, to reassess all the uh, dominant position for Safaricom. I hope it will come with the same outcome happened one month ago. Today, what is Telecom Kenya differentiation versus the other one? Okay. Of course, uh, Baharti is powerful, uh, SR powerful too, and Safaricom is very powerful in the region, especially are supported by Vodacom. I believe, Vodafone, sorry, I believe Telecom Kenya have different benefits. First one, they are one of France Telecom Group affiliate. Second one, we have an international brand, Orange, well known worldwide. Third one, we have different technology in our pocket, not only GSM. We have CDMA, we have the fix, uh, we have uh, fiber, uh, we have copper, we have everything. Meaning our future is, of course, voice, but data. Today, yesterday, one of our competitors, I don't uh, give the name, they announced he is delivering 128 now kilobit per second. But I would like to announce publicly, we did, we are delivering today two megabit per second. We are the only operator in telecom, in Kenya, let's say, delivering this kind of uh, services. Meaning our differentiation would be one-stop shop for corporate, they could buy everything, they could buy mobile, mm -hmm. they could buy, let's say, voice, data, and uh, high speed and fiber access in the network. Second issue, third issue, they could buy quality issues because today one of the quality of Orange is to have the best quality network and customer care and services okay. and in innovation. Today we are improving our network a lot, uh, our customer care and innovation, meaning we are facing a lot of challenges, but right. I am sure uh, I would like not go price war like happened today. 
I think we should give to Kenyan services not only price. We should uh, give value for money. Okay, this I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad future. you're raising these issues because although you're talking to us about quite a dynamic product offering, the fact remains. Orange has only managed to access about 1 million subscribers in an economy that has already 20 million subscribers penetration. We know of the dominance issues of Safaricom and the regulator investigating some of these, but there's clearly something not right with Orange Mobile's uh, strategy or product offerings to this market because you are the third uh, most significant player and the numbers that separate Zane and Safaricom from Orange are actually fairly big. What do you say to that? No, no. Today, the figure is uh, you have 50, 50 million to Safaricom, it is 2.5 uh, to Zane and 1.5 to, to Orange because we should don't have to forget the CDMA because we have two network of uh, mobile. Uh, that's mean, you know, uh, the Kenya market is very complex. If you compare a little bit uh, Cancel and Zane today, they put 10 years and uh, they start together with Safaricom and today you have Safaricom make a very good uh, job. They become number one. Uh, then they are stuck in the market. I, I know maybe now with uh, Baharti they will change their strategy because they may be focusing mm -hmm. in high market. Today, of course, we are number three entering the market. We try to make price uh, issues, but uh, not fair. But I believe today we are stuck in this market for different reasons. Uh, mainly, I told you for two reasons. Regulation, because we cannot accept today what happens in the market, meaning when I have my offnet is 8 shilling and why uh, Safaricom offnet is 12 shilling. It's not acceptable, meaning it becomes very difficult to call, meaning we are creating different groups, and uh, this is a regulation issues. Uh, second one is not acceptable, in fact, is uh, what is the second one difficulties for us, but it is very good the job done by Safaricom, is uh, the impayment. M-Pesa. I think Orange uh, will come, like you know, today we have Orange money in uh, Ivory Coast, you have Orange money in uh, mm -hmm. Mali, we have Orange money in uh, Senegal, we'll launch it uh, soon in uh, Kenya. This is big differentiation, because today you have around 9.5 million uh, customers blocked, they don't move from Safaricom to other mm -hmm. accounts. Even you do what do you want, even if you have better network, right. if you have better price, are stuck, meaning when we solve these two problems, I believe uh, Orange Mobile will, uh, will pick up quick and uh, very fast. Well, on your side is the regulator who's now decided to drop 3G license fees to $10 uh, uh, million dollars to try to make it easier for smaller participants to try to adopt new technologies and in fact they won't be charging anything for an upgrade to 4G. How are you going to take advantage of uh, a revision of some of these regulations so that you become more innovative in data services, in providing financial services through your mobile network? Of course, today the regulator announced the license of 3G become 10 million dollars. It is good news for the market, meaning it is good news for the, let's say, challenger operators. Uh, now we have to take benefit. Of course, we have to take care to avoid the same problem. Uh, don't give the dominant one the LTE license. Because today it is not fair. We give us uh, 3G when they gave to Safaricom three years ago. And they give Safaricom uh, 4G, free of charge, etc. Meaning this is a, now we will take care. We don't let this kind of uh, issues happen again. I mean, it happened in 2007. I think we will fight to don't let LTE uh, mm -hmm. do like happen like happened 3G. Meaning in the future, if you have to go LTE, we should have the LTE too. If mm -hmm. it's free, we should be free. We will see what we will do. Today, 3G it is good news because in 3G we have different technology. Meaning you could go data high speed, not so far from four generation. Today we don't take we don't take yet the decision which uh, technology will go in 3G. If you go HSPA+, uh, HSDPA, or HSPUA, mm -hmm. such as we are testing the network. Today we have around 15 sites in Nairobi working in 3G. Right. Meaning today Telecom is ready to, to make, but the main issue is we should have very good service to give it to our customers. Because today we, uh, Safaricom, are installed in the market since three years. Right. That means we, we cannot bring only that, okay, cuckoo, I'm making 3G. No way. 
you have to come with a good services, good quality and innovation. All right. And today, I think uh, we are bringing some uh, good news. I hope in the future with 3G we could bring even uh, CNBC uh, through uh, the, the mobile. Okay, we'll see about that. Now, our guest host would like of to course, ask you a yeah. question. Yeah, I think uh, Thank you. It, it's important from, um, from my side that, that the regulators are there not really to raise revenue because I think that can be such a barrier to entry. But I think also it's very important that companies, uh, other companies are able to thrive uh, against a dominant competitor um, simply because that's good for the market and it's good for the, the, the economy. Um, and, and essentially, if, if I were to understand the advent of your company, um, what, what do you think that effectively does eventually for the, the firstly for the industry and secondly for the actual economy of, the, of, of, of Kenya in, in terms of it connecting up to um, uh, effectively into the, 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 the 21st century uh, t telecoms because this particular area is one of the reasons why Africa is a little bit uh, hamstrung. So, uh, if you could comment on that. Okay. The regulation is important, meaning why it's important for us. Uh, because, of course, they are not their job to regulate the revenues, but their job to regulate the market a little bit. What is my position, in fact? It is to, to regulate the market in double way, meaning to regulate the dominant and to watch the other one. Because today, uh, the termination rate between operators make difference. I mean, today, I give you an example. <coughs> When I call Safaricom, I give him, when I call another operator, I give him 4.42 shilling. When he called me, he give me 4.42 shilling. Today, my off net price is 8 shilling. That's mean if I go with this 8 shilling with tax, 4.42 without tax, if I make my calculation, my margin is very low. Today, the dominant operator, his uh, off net price is 12. When he go from 12 with tax, to 4.42 without tax, it makes a big margin. That's mean they make his margin more healthy and more powerful. This is why we are asking later to regress the market to make a good termination rate mm -hmm. between operators. This is first one. Uh, second one, when I ask about regulation, not only for regulate the dominant one, they have to, to watch the, let's say, the, uh, our price even too, meaning if me, orange, I make and I put on the market very low price, and this price is disturbing my business plan or my PNL. They should watch, because today, if you don't watch it, you will destroy the value of the market, not only the company but the market globally. Why today in India? Because in India, it is very well known uh, the, f the low cost operators, and today the regulators there they start watching all the price, meaning they even they oblige the, the entrance operator to go to the regulation and to present them the business case to be sure is not disturbing the value of the company. All right. I mean, today we have to move from, uh, let's say, from price to value. This is regulation job to be done. And today the government with uh, submarine cables uh, did a very good job because today the, the market will grow through data. Because the voice today is very uh, is normally free in Kenya. Today we are making a limited, today you paid the one euros you have, uh, you could talk 3,000 minutes free of charge. Another operator you paid maybe uh, one euro, you took a limited on the month. Uh, the price voice, it become free. Why data become necessarily to improve the business and to improve the economy of Kenya? All right, Michael. And here becomes the company, uh, the government play go. go. Mr. Gosain, thank you very much for your inputs. Unfortunately, we have thank to you. leave it there. Thank you very much to Mikhail Gosain, who's the CEO of Telcom Kenya, just talking to us uh, about patching up relations with France Telecom. Some of the issues there was the pricing of tel uh, Telcom Kenya's assets, um, allegations of irregularly granting uh, supplier contracts to people whom. Um, France Telecom had not been told about. Anyway, all of that sorted out and they're ready to go together to fight off the rivalry of Safaricom, of Zane Kenya and others. We're